Don't. We don't want that. Avoid cotton mouth. <laughs> Avoid cotton mouth. Avoid cotton mouth. Well, hey everybody, it's Eugene and Emma and we're here to talk to you about a question that was lodged to us by our one and only Jeff. He sent us a question, he asked us a little bit about why he was experiencing this with his coffee and we've come back with some answers. Wait, the dry filling is a result of tannins binding to salivary protein. Tannins? Tannins. You get that dry mouth feeling? <laughs> yeah, tannins. There it is, there it is. <laughs> so, if you get a dry mouth feeling when you're drinking coffee, it is most likely because you are having an experience with tannins. Whether or not they're actually tannins is argued upon. Um, supposedly since the 1920s, they haven't actually been able to scientifically prove that there are tannins in coffee, but the effect of what's in the coffee is the same. It dries out your mouth. It causes astringent sensations in your mouth. But let's go ahead and find out what a tannin is. According to Barista Hustle, a tannin is a polyphenolic biological molecule that binds to and precipitates to proteins. Let's soak that in. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> Chemistry is not my strong suit. Yeah, not really. So in, I'm a barista, not a chemist, speak, it is a molecule that goes into your mouth and binds to the salivary glands making it so that your salivary glands don't produce saliva, which creates that dry feeling in your mouth. So, you know, you have a cup of coffee, all of a sudden you're like, oh God, I can't drink this, it's too dry. I need to go get some water. I need to spit it out like we did with the cotton balls. You know, <laughs> it isn't entirely a great feeling. <laughs> Gotta loosen up. Still kind of reeling. Got a, I'm still reeling from the cotton balls. Like that really was not a pleasant experience. I handled that so much better than you. You really and did. I'm really proud of myself. Mike, you better be proud of me. <laughs> I don't know if that's something you want to say on television or TV or video. So where can you find tannins? Tannins can be found in a lot of different things, including tea, wine, unripened fruit, and technically coffee. If you've ever bitten into a unripened banana and all of a sudden you get that weird chemically sensation in your mouth, that's because you are experiencing tannins at work in your mouth. Not entirely the most exciting thing to be thinking about, but that's why we don't eat a lot of unripened oranges or apples or bananas or anything like that. Um, tannins have also been used to tan leather hides, which is why people say when you're tanning leather, you're using tannins to create leather that it's very durable. Just kidding. What? Oh my god. <laughs> tanning. Uh oh, 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 oh. Leather. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I so, worked at a tanning salon, it's fine. Of course, you know, a little bit of dryness in coffee is okay because you're still going to kind of get those chemicals that come out, the molecules that create that dry mouth feeling. But when you take a sip of coffee and it just coats your mouth and it just feels like you need water, there's a couple different things that's going on, but usually it's associated with over extraction of coffee. So then how do you over extract coffee? When you're over extracting coffee, you're either having too hot of water, too fine of a grind, too high of a temperature of your water, too long of a brew time, or you're not have, using the right water, yeah. which... The right water usually consists of is water that has the right amount of solubles in it. So there's a measurement called PPM, and when you look at water, if it has zero PPM, which RO water or extremely filtered water has zero PPM, all of the particles have been taken out of the water. When it's being introduced to the coffee, it just strips everything out of the coffee, not just a little bit of the coffee, which is what we usually do. So when the water that you are using doesn't have enough particles per million, then it's going to over extract the coffee and you're going to get something with a lot of astringency and you're also gonna have a lot of flavors that you probably normally wouldn't if you had the right PPM. The right PPM is 225 PPM, which you know you can get there by buying RO water and then you can actually purchase a barista packet, which actually allows for the water to become the right solubility that you need. The other things, too hot. 
when the water is too hot, it actually extracts very quickly everything out of the coffee. Um, too fine of a grind, that means that there's a lot more surface area for the coffee to be introduced to water, so then a lot more gets pulled out. And then too long of a brew time. It just means that the water has had enough time to be in contact with the coffee, and it just sits there a little too long, so then it pulls out more than it needs to. My number one bet is that if you are experiencing ex um, astringency at home and you're using RO water, you most likely need to add some particles into your water to get it to a point where it's not over extracting the coffee. Another reason why you might be experiencing the tannin-like feeling of astringency, you might have an under-roasted coffee, which doesn't really um, roast out all of the tannin molecules in the coffee as well. Or you're having one of those that we listed. Or you're having one of those issues. I mean, if you have good water, then you're either over brewing, your water's too hot, your grind is too fine. So yes, yeah, absolutely. It's just what is that called? Where you like eliminate certain? Oh, process of elimination. <laughs> yeah. It's process of elimination. If you can just go through and address these things you will most likely be able to create the cup of coffee that doesn't have a lot of astringency in it. That is our breakdown. If you guys would like a further breakdown on water or anything else in regards to what you can do to reduce the amount of astringency in your coffee, let us know. Yep. Yeah. Tannins. Tannins. Tannins, guys. Tannins. <laughs> and then maybe we'll get into this. Barista Hustle did a really good job of writing up about it, but tannins may not actually exist in coffee. But the truth of the matter is there are molecules in coffee that cause you to have a dry mouth. All right. Thanks so much, guys. And thank you, Eugene, for all the explanations. And don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Um, let us know what you want to see next, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.